here is the finished spread. I really enjoy using this, and I've mentioned this so many times before, but this Tim Holtz label letters. They're really perfect size for these kinds of spreads. Um, it doesn't add too much space and they're, they really pop out because they're so dark. And obviously I did a fail here with the date. I realized my previous entry, I wrote May 28th, but it's actually April 28th, so a little off topic there, but I cut out these uh, photos from the brochures. This was the cottage that we stayed at and they had a really nice rotimburo, which is like a bath outside on the deck. It was kind of like a jacuzzi, but without the bubbles. Uh, it was really, really nice and relaxing. For the background, I forgot to mention, I ended up ripping the page and using that as a background, the map, uh, because um, I didn't want to put it in the book like I did with this one because we didn't really use the map, but you, know, you can still see through, like it peeks through. So this was the cottage that we stayed at. I just stuck a craft sticky note. This is the craft sticky note from Daiso. I don't know how many, oh, there's four pages, 400 uh, sticky notes, huge <laughs> brick of sticky notes from Daiso. So I stuck one here. I just thought uh, I did, I used craft uh, because I wanted to just keep it on the same line as this label uh, sticker here, this die cut sticker from Studio 112. This is just a welcome message that we had in the hotel or in the cottage and they had this really nice, I don't know what it's called, but it's not really paper, it's more like tissue paper, but not really, it's really pretty like wrapping style paper they had there um, and they had a couple of uh, biscuits on top of it. So I decided to take it and um, just stick it in here, it's really really pretty can still see through it so I thought it was really nice so I left this backside blank so I can write here and here and I was supposed to uh, tip this in and I forgot about it and I ended up sticking it in so I put this banner here with our cottage labeled out this stamp obviously didn't work out well but it's okay I wrote down the location I'm really enjoying this Kaiser Craft stamp set it's called Wonderlust and I like using um, many of these stamps for the traveling uh, entries or traveling spreads, so I like this one a lot. So yeah, that's my journal entry for the third set that I did, and it's just two pages, but it looks really nice. I think it turned out well. I have this photo of my son in the car sleeping. I might tip that in somewhere a little bit later on, maybe somewhere here. Or I might use it in another page, but I have this uh, off to the side. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will most likely do these process videos once a week. And I will show you up until I finish my um, whole trip, this whole book here. I have a couple more, several more to go. So I will post one once a week. Hopefully I'll try my best to do that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.